everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3. This should work on just about all variants. I will post uh, a description letting you know which variants are actually supported. Pretty much all US variants are. Um, this is a safe root method, that's the title of it, uh, from Kimu on XDA, so shout out to him. This is for root on Android 4.3. The update to 4.4 should be coming soon. Hopefully this will work on it. If it doesn't, I will make an updated video and link to it in the description, so don't worry, I'll keep you guys updated once Jelly Bean comes to the S3. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this device rooted. First of all, I want to go ahead and go into settings really quick and show you guys I am on Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. So you'll see Android 4.3 right there in the settings. Um, as I said, this should work on any device, uh, any S3 on 4.3. Anyways, while you're in uh, your settings here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to About Device and find Build Number and quickly tap on it uh, about seven times until it says Developer Mode Enabled. Once that is an option here, you'll want to select Developer Options and go into it and go ahead and check USB debugging. You're gonna to need to make sure that's checked on your device before you run through this root process. So now that we have that checked, our phone is all set up. Uh, what we need to do is set up a couple things on our computer now. We need to download a couple files. So go ahead and check out the links in the description. There's a link to drivers along with the root zip itself. So go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link is going to take you to my site here. This is just a test article. I haven't posted the actual one yet. But anyways, you'll see a couple downloads. You'll see PC drivers and safe root zip. You're going to need to download both of them. First of all, you need to make sure you have the drivers installed on your PC. Just click on it, download it, install the drivers, get that good to go. Next, you're going to need to download the safe root zip file. It's a zip package that's going to allow you to root your device. So download that zip file as well. All right, so once you have the safe root zip file downloaded, you'll see in your downloads that it will be right there. What you're gonna need to do is go ahead and create a folder on your desktop. Just go ahead and right click, hit new folder. And you can call it something like S3 root. Um, just whatever identifies it for you. Once you have that, you can double click on the safe root zip file and inside you'll see three uh, three files, I guess, two files in a folder. What you're gonna need to do is select all three of these objects and click and drag them into that S3 root folder that we have uh, put on our desktop. Once we've done that, you can actually close out of the zip and double click on the actual folder that we put on our desktop. Once we've done that, it'll you'll see those three objects inside that folder. All you have to do, do is actually double click on the Windows batch file. It's just an install and what it's gonna do is open up a command prompt here. All right, so once your command prompt's open, you actually just need to grab your phone. We already put it in USB debugging mode, so make sure that that is on, and go ahead and plug your phone into your computer. So plug it on in. Once it plugs in, uh, if drivers need to be installed, if they come up, let them. Um, you'll see this popped up, no big deal. You can just close out of it. Uh, you'll, so now you need to go back to your command prompt, and it says plug in your phone, press any key to continue. So now just go ahead and press any key on your keyboard. All right, so once you press any key to continue, it's going to allow, um, it's gonna ask on your phone if you want to allow USB debugging, you need to press OK. You need to make sure that you press OK, otherwise this will not work. So press OK on your phone and it should run through. If the command prompt exits out of it, you could just go right back into it and try it again. It should work a second time. So now go ahead and hit OK and allow USB debugging and it should run through the command prompt now. All right, so it's been stuck on this screen for a little while, so what I'm gonna do is actually exit out of the command prompt and go right back into it. So I'm gonna open that command prompt back up, bring it on up, and with our phone still plugged in, what I'm gonna have you do is press any key to continue once more, and then it should go ahead and run through again. So again, it might you might have to try it a couple times, you might have to exit out of it, go back into it, and you'll see it's recognizing my phone, and then it's gonna run through and actually root it. My guess is it's gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip through some of this, cut things out. You'll see it is just counting right now. All right, so it counted all the way up to nine, and it says succeeded and get root. It's gonna reboot your device, and then we should uh, actually be good to go. Our device should th then be rooted. With this method, it does not trip the Knox security counter, so you don't have to worry about that. It may void your warranty, though, so just kind of keep that in mind. I will put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let this phone reboot and then I will show you guys that we are now rooted. All right, so you'll see it says waiting until your phone reboots, unlock it, press any key to continue. Just go ahead and unlock it with your phone still plugged in, press any key to continue. It says on your phone, open Super SU and let it update if it asks. So go ahead and in your app drawer, you'll see an app called Super SU. Go ahead and select it. And it says the SU binary needs to be updated, hit continue. 
Um, if you want to have a custom recover, you can select Twerp Clockwork Mod. If not, just hit Normal. I'm just going to hit Normal because I don't want a custom recovery at the moment. And it's going to go ahead and install Super SU and get the, everything updated. Once it's done updating, you just need to go ahead and press any key in the script to continue. It says Samsung Knox has been detected. This might limit rooting capabilities. Try to disable Knox. Hit OK. It's going to disable it. And then installation success. It says it's recommended you reboot your device, so just kind of keep that in mind. It says once it's done, press any key to continue, and I believe it might actually reboot our device for us. We'll see. You need to press allow USB debugging once more on your phone. Hit OK. And granted super user permissions. That basically lets you know that you are now rooted. And we'll see what the script does. I'm not actually positive what the script's going to do at this point. Um, it says disabling Knox. And it's installing BusyBox for us now. So just more things needed to have full root access. All right, it says all finished. Press any key to continue. Just press any key to continue and we should now be done. I do have an app called Root Checker. I just wanted to go ahead and double check and sh show you guys that we are now fully rooted. You can get Root Checker in the Play Store. It's just called Root Checker Basic. And I'm just gonna hit verify root. It's gonna pop up a screen. You need to allow, grant it super user permissions. And it says, congratulations, your device has root access. There you go. So now your Galaxy S3 is now rooted on Android 4.3, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.